Hello and welcome to this GIMP quick tip for making Dota 2 character shader masks with GIMP. Um, if you go, I haven't really been able, hadn't really been able to find a good guide for making these. And generally, the attitude seems to be that when people ask, you know, what's a good way to do these in GIMP, people seem to say, "Don't make them in Photoshop instead. You know, acquire Photoshop in some way." Because I mean, either buy a used copy or if you have the money for Creative Cloud or whatever. Okay. And it's really, I mean, Photoshop is great, I guess. I don't really use it because it costs money and I don't have money to spend on it. And I find GIMP does everything that I need an image editor to do. It just does a little bit weird. So I'm going to start with a quick overview of what how, what Dota 2 character shader masks do. And it's all in the Dota 2 workshop guide here that I have on the screen right now. I'm basically what happens is for Dota 2 for items it has this mask 1 and mask 2 and it basically uses just straight value information from each channel to determine things like you know detail map or diffuse and fresnel masks and metalness and self illumination and all that sort of stuff. So why is it harder to do in GIMP? Well, it's hard to do in GIMP because GIMP does handles its channels a little weird. And I mean, as I don't have a, if I go and create an image or just do a new image and do 2048 by 2048, which is generally you want to go 2048 by 2048 because I'm there's some more things. But I, as you can see, red, green, and blue channels, right up here, they're full white. And there's really no way to do, at, in as they're in channels, you can't really work in the channel by itself. I mean, yeah, you can do value, paint, and it'll sort of go in the channel, but I mean, you can see right there it does for R, G, and B. And you can probably barely see it because those are kind of small. But I mean, it painting there automatically, it throws stuff into the other channels that I don't necessarily want. I mean, I just wanted red there, but it threw a green and blue. So, I mean, how do you, and if uh, even if I unselect a couple of channels, like I just did, and throw like full red in, it does nothing. And well, you can see there's a little bit going on there to kind of crossing over where there was stuff already existing, but it doesn't create new, you can't paint cr new data directly into the channel for some reason. But and there is GIMP does have a way to do you can put channel data in to thing, it just takes an additional step. So and to start with you start with your new image, like you I just have here. Add an alpha channel. Because you need that you need the alpha channel. And you do colors, components, decompose. Two RGBA layers, and bang, there it is, and it's, and it's got each channel is now its own layer, and you can just, and they're all set to grayscale, and you can just paint whatever into each cha each channel, and then when you're done, you recompose. So I'm gonna do a quick. Just as an example, I'm going to get rid of this because it's no good. But yeah, if I do file, create, or not, file, new, 2048, 2048. Add my alpha channel, colors, components, decompose to RGBA layers. And now I've got this as new RGBNA. 
And then what I can do is I can take, you know, my ambient occlusion bake and drop it in. You didn't see that because it added it as a lower layer. But yeah, do that. And now one thing, one thing to be careful of. I I did a dry run of this guide and I didn't realize this at the time. But if you, when working in a decompose, if you've got, if you're dropping in external images that have an active act alpha channel, like you can see here, delete that alpha channel. Otherwise, you won't be able to recompose properly. <clears throat> so, remove alpha channel there. And that just makes alpha full white. And then I can just... I can merge that down into the red channel. I can duplicate it and then drop it down and make out the alpha channel. And I can, for you know, green and blue, I can just bucket fill them with black. Like so. I mean they're not they're kinda of hidden then and then I can put the you know the bit of white in the corner that you're supposed to put. And then you can just you know, then once you've got all of your stuff set up following what layers do in the guide and what what the channels do in the guide rather, opposed to the layers even though for this we are treating these as layers. There. Then you just go colors, components, compose, RGBA, and why is it doing this to me again? Let's go back to the undo stack. channel there's down colors components compose and it's still what the shit I should not be doing this Okay, I'm I'm a dumbass. All right, the merge down is causing was what was causing problems. So don't merge down. <laughs> Apparently, and you can just you can delete the original channels if you want. I assume. Let's see if that actually worked. Yeah. Okay. And then it'll. I don't know why merge down messes it up, but. Okay, and then I can duplicate that and then send that down and delete that alpha channel and rebucket fill green and blue with black. And then I can do my white in the corner. Okay, and then you just do colors, components, compose, color mo model, RGBA, and then you here you selected these drop down which layer you want to be each which channel. Then you say OK, and there it is. And that's your mask, like your actual final mask thing. And you just save that as your TGA file, and then it's good to go. And and basically, once it's composed, you more or less just ignore what shows in the channels because it's not going to be accurate. And I'll show you why that is. If I go into File, 
open. That's the wrong media. Two stuff. So I do Lena base. Mask two was a good one for that. And which would be on the top. But yeah, you can see it's all weird. And if you look at the layers, or you look at the channels, it doesn't show exactly what's in the channels. I mean, it it'll show stuff. What is shown in the channels is shown based on what the alpha is. If alpha is white, it'll show you what the other channels will reflect what's there, but if alpha is black, then you won't see it. So even if there is data there, like there most likely is here, if I do components, decompose this to RGBA, see, then you get different... See, this is white and stuff, but since it's black and alpha, it wasn't showing on the thing, but you get the general idea of what I'm talking about as far as stuff and then but yeah then it's the compose and then the compose once the after you do the compose then you just save your targa file and it's good to go basically and and that's basic that's it really it's it's that simple um i if you like this please like it and share it around if you want um this is I'm looking into considering doing other things. I know that this is a little kind of haphazard, but it's my first first attempt at a tutorial. Other than that, I've I check out some of my other stuff on my channel, like the the games that I worked on, Red Faction Guerrilla series, which is a full playthrough of Red Faction Guerrilla. I'm going to be doing other games from that series. I'm leading towards 440,000 Space Marine is my next entry in that. And uh, thank you. Uh, feel free to subscribe, but I'm I'm not prolific or anything. And have a good day. And have fun making stuff for Dota 2 if you want to.